Hello, welcome to Bart's Gaming Corner. I'm Bart. We're playing of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. We're in the Gnoll Fortress. Or Gnoll. And we're here to rescue, rescue Dinah here. Um, let's see. Do I need to rest? Uh huh. Uh -oh. Yes. Yeah. Cells. <laughs> Where did these fellows come from? Levels. Characters will be uh, trying to swing their swords at enemies quite often before hitting anything. I will show you justice! Let's use Kai. Yes, that did trick. What is it? Oh. Of course. Oh, a lot of moles here. For the fallen! Keep oh, claiming! Uh, possibly frosty. Death! Half at you! None are better. Yes, very well. At your serve. Indeed. If I can remember correctly. Yes, here she is. My decency is refreshing. So many we meet are... This, it's good, certainly good to see a face possessed of fewer teeth than my captors. I'm Dinah here and I welcome thine aid. How did you come to be trapped in such a place? You do not look as though you are helpless. I fear I was separated from my guardian, Minsk. I know not his fate, for we were ambushed in the night. Doubtless he is alive and looking for me, though the blow to the head suffered he suffered cannot have further helped his wits. He is good he is a good and noble warrior, though less gifted in measures of judgment. Perhaps I could travel with thee until I find him. Um uh, welcome your company in my group. I'm sure we'll meet this Minsk of yours soon later. Yeah. As proved to be quite a leader, I shall look forward to you when we can again call each other comrade. Uh, I'm not gonna use her. Oh, I'm gonna hello. Uh, near her. Uh, Thank you. 
Oh, my heart's really not in this. Okay, well, we, we did about everything there is to do here. Try to uh, leave this place. Explore this part, but I don't think there's anything interesting here. Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, don't remember this part. I haven't been here actually in all the years I've been playing this game. We killed a couple of low level forts. Actually, stuck. At least we let it, got a lot of uh, nice trinkets. Trinkets to sell in Nashkel when we return. Hmm. Very well. Hey. My blade will cut you down to size. Oh, my that's bad. Those quartz look like a real man. Time. This was Stand back and watch this. At least we got some money out of it. So. What is it? <laughs> That way. Uh, 
I never bothered exploring the rest of the map. Now I know why. There's, there's only these level. Uh, well, every little bit helps," said the mouse when he peed into the sea. You rang. My turn to save the day. You called me. Fine. Fine. So we'll need some magic to defeat this one. Nature's servant two. awaits. Yes, let's use you. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. At your service. Oh, he's dead already. Hello. Well, too late, China. Very well. Indeed. Oh. Another cave. Advance! I'll stay the Of course. sip of water. Um, in the enhanced version there are some tones you can use to uh, upgrade the um, initial attributes. So charisma, wisdom, intelligence, constitution, dexterity and strength. A character in game. Uh, let's see. I first have to identify this. One of the most popular recent terms of leadership and influence is a cynical, cynically entitled book How to Win Friends and Influence People. Like others of its ilk, it peddles a philosophy of personal ascendancy and manipulation by charisma alone. The authors and advocates of such terms claim that, by drawing on the most recent theories in sociology and interpersonal psychology, it is possible to raise an individual's charisma by a single point. In truth, such increases in personal charisma are the product of magical spells placed on the text as it is in the war writing process. These same 
Spells also cause the tomb, tome to disappear after the first sheets. An excellent marketing strategy, you must concede. Charisma raised by one point permanently. Special book is consumed upon use. Use which place into the quick item slot. Well, we're gonna use this with our main character. Why? Uh, well, it dictates that we that the charisma is better su suited to one of our other characters. Uh, let's see if he is by the way. But two. Um, But we're also gonna use this character in my Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 series, which we'll uh, do after we finish this game. Uh, and in that regard, we want to increase this character. Done. Um, how do we use it? What is it? And Charisma is 10. Yes. And we'll find more of these tomes uh, later on. So we can increase, I think, strength, sex, yeah, every attribute. I think for this character, uh, mainly wisdom. Well, this is already pretty, uh, pretty good. Okay. You called? Nifty gods. Let's venture onwards, dear friends. Alright, alright. More money. Look at it. Uh, let's see. What we can find here. More swords. I will show you justice! Yes. At your service. Are you actually trying to hit these fellows? Oh. Yes. Of course. Nothing more to explore. Time to get back. We're going to We're going to return to Nashkel. Nashkel. And uh, so uh, the gear we found. For this part yet. Now, like I said in the earlier, uh, when I played this game um, earlier, I, I've never bothered to explore the rest of uh, this area.
Uh, mostly because of this region, there's a lot of filler. Yeah, luckily, like I, like I said before, in Bond's Gate 2, that has, that has changed. Then, uh, oh. I will show you just where are these little guys coming from? Oh dear. Oh, more gnolls. Oh, I have lots of really nice world. I'm gonna leave him alone. This is an interesting weapon. Now oh, Rashad can level up. Identify already. Right. Level up. Yeah, he's slowly becoming more dangerous, but he doesn't have many hit points, so I have to keep him out of harm's way somewhat. And she's already almost there. I understand. What is it this time? I 
could really use tensor. You stand back and watch this. Advance! I'll stay back here. My blade will cut you down to size. What is it? All right, all right. It was a uh, pretty tough fight. They're pretty much grinding right now. I want to be at least uh, on my character to be level 3 until I go into the mines. And we're a little bit better prepared. That's better. Let's move on. Well, wow, peak mountains. Isn't there a uh, winter wolf here somewhere? Or normal wolves? Oh dear. You cold? Yeah. Oh, my Facebook is still on. I mind myself turning it off. When I uh, record a Let's Play session. Uh, let's rest again. bottom of the map. Nothing here. Well, country farm is uh, here. Dead cat. There's a story behind it. Taking a lot of the run. It's not even my tank character. If I remember correctly. Right.
So, Pixie, my cat, she was playing close to the waterfall and slipped. I hope she's alright. Uh, I don't think so. I want my mommy! She didn't make it, did she? At least I can give her a proper funeral, though. No. Here, this is the last of my lounge, but you can give it. You can have it for finding Pixie. Well, it's got some XP out of it. Okay. Well, here you can see the limitations uh, of the graphics. Doesn't look quite. Nah, it doesn't look good at all. Oh, oh I can't believe that. Please, kind spirits, a wondrous ancient oak is in peril. Please, kind spirits, a wondrous ancient oak is in peril. It is about to be attacked by two who would defile the majesty of, majesty of nature. They have avoided my charms and must be stopped before irreparable harm is done. What Would you heed my plea? What is my payment for helping you? I don't take risks for free, you know. Little need to use for treasure, you would fellow. Please, there's little time. Help me. I should wish, though. I seldom work for charity. Lead on. And I seldom wish to deal with those with such mercantile persuasion. I thank you regardless. This way. Mm. Hey there. I'm called This is my brother, Crumb. I don't know who you are, but I'll not have you sneaking up behind us while we work. We think there's treasure in this tree, and if you want to get up in front and help, do it. Otherwise, me and Crumb will do something, well, something really nasty. Ain't it right, Crumb? You don't really want to do this, do you? Just think of how beautiful this tree is. It's really a wonder of nature. Well, if you're not gonna help, I'm not gonna let you sit and watch this do it. You were probably gonna rob us when we're done, weren't you? Me and Crumb don't cut into bandits one bit, do we, Crumb? What? Okay. Idiot. You've a task? Uh-huh. My oh, friend is cutting down the side. Death! Death. At your service. Oh, my heart's really not in this. That's a nice, hey, nice club. My tree is in such pain. Ah, uh, whiny. I thank you, though grudgingly. Perhaps I have something to give you. Though it's not. Though it's n if it's n it is not much. Please leave me to fix whatever damage was done. Good on you if you save the day. Ocean of healing. Well, Go Ryan would be proud of your actions. Let's get the healing potions to you. You need it. Mm. 
The chair legs to fell three clubs are the most universal weapons of everyone from Tevin Brawners to Hill Giants. A little extra raid, maybe a spike or two and a little enchantment never hurt. Which is to say, it always hurts. Okay, let's, let's give this one to Jahira. Let's see. Yeah, I think she's our best fighter now. Oh. Oh no, I am. Bard is. Let's rest. A spell. Oh. What is it this time? Orion would be proud of your actions. You can use that. Oh, now we can't yet. Good of Bluntless, destroyer of the hills, having lost friends and loved ones to a series of raids by hill giants, Gerard the Powerful made it his mission to cleanse his homeland of their presence. It is not known where he acquired this item, but with it he single-handedly dispatched dozens of the creatures, all the while protected from the blows of their clubs. The remaining giants fled to the neighboring lands, lands that lacked a similar champion and did not fare as well. Arm class plus four crushing it. Okay, this is perfect for our shot. Let's place the enemies equipped with the hammers, the maces, uh, morning stars, and clubs. Won't harm, won't do as much harm against them. Of course. Another halberd. Oh, in a bit. Of course. Mm. Yeah, it's it, this. It is a bit of a grind, but exploring this area has paid out. Nice new stuff. Another die wool. Sigil of House Star. Uh oh. It was a red wool. As Uncle Martin would have to say. Any day you live through is a good one. Yes. Level up. Uh, level one. Additional mage spells. Level one. One spells. Additional hit points. Plus four lore increased. Okay.
I'm Magic Michelle. I'm gonna small rest. Uh, at least my mage is becoming more and more powerful. Yeah, big mountains. Yeah. Using arrows. Let's equip arrows. For sword, sword. I'm getting a sword, sword for. Uh, what you want? Short this sword, way. like a gladius. Ah, not a dread wolf. My down Oh dear. Quite a feisty opponent, but 650 XP for me. For me. <laughs> Who are these? Backward. Stop, you have trespassed on our territory. You shall not be allowed to leave until you have paid tribute. We demand 50 gold in tribute. We have no money, sorry. No money, that's too bad for you. We let you go only if you win fight. Your best champion versus our best champion. Come on, let's do it then. Our best champion is Ludruck. Ludruck is me. Are you ready for fight? No matter, we fight now. Oh. Yep, this way. What is it? You call? Very well. I will show you just <laughs> Eat flaming uh, possibly frosty Death! <laughs> A lot of I think we find did find everything there is to find on this map.
trouble. Indeed. Where are we? I've seen it here before. More water. Bubbles. Claiming for a fucking crusty death. Winter Wolf. Oh. Level up. Additional weapon proficiencies. One, save versus paralysis. Ah, okay. So very good. Take or reduce by one. Additional hit point gained 14. Lower increase by one. Let's, let's see. Not, because I want to use two weapons. Two weapons style. Penalties are reduced to zero with main weapon and minus four with the offhand weapon. So if we use this, mm -hmm. it has increased. Now I can get my offhand weapon. So I have a long sword for which I use Stego 14 and a ninja toe. 19. I'm gonna have minus. So, not bad. So, I'll probably hit most of my enemies with my uh, long sword. And sometimes with my ninja tail. But I can do a whole lot more damage. I'm just plus one. Seems like your little party's wandering uh, wandered off a bit off the beaten path. Well, that's too bad for you, because you had the misfortune of meeting the fastest runner west. See that man over yonder? His name's Zell, and he's the fastest dart throw that has ever walked the sword coast. How are you? If I were you, I wouldn't want to test the patience of such a man. So why didn't you do the wise thing and handle hand over all your mother money? Otherwise, you're going to be in a heap of trouble. I have no desire to fight a pair of idiots, nor am I going to give you any of our money. Get lost. 
Hear that, Zell? Seems that they don't they don't take you seriously. Guess it's time to show what for, huh? Sorry, guys, but you're in for a world of hurt. Yeah, I guess so. Yes. You rang? My blade cut it down the side. Nature servant awaits. At your service. These two idiots run into stuff as they anyway. self-professed. Hey, what's it? Right, there's a lot of guards. Some money. And then let's pick up this stuff. Okay. Let's give these to you. Identify them. Race of archery, the Dill's protector during a dangerous meeting with a rival ruler, the King of the Great Dill requested the protection of his best archers in addition to his usual guard. The archers, each equipped with an enchant bow and braces, hit within range of the gathering. As predicted, enemy troops attempted to seize the king and force their will over his rule. None hath anticipated the amazing accuracy and lethality. Lethality? Lef ah, the hidden archers. The king was able to escape unharmed. In fact, none of the ambush members uh, even lived to approach him. Equipped of abilities to hit armor class 0 plus 2 with missile weapons. And. Ugh, juicy Okay, but I know one person who uses missile weapons. And when? So she's quite adept at using missile weapons. I will show you justice! I will show you justice! Another time! Some treasure here. Wait a it's trying to rest. yet. You funny looking. Hey little Willy, here witty doggy. Ah, why won't you come home? 
Excuse me, I'm ever so sorry to bother, but could you help me? I've lost my little dog and I can't find him. He's probably ever so scared right now. Have you no parents here to help you? It's dangerous to be out alone. Parents? Yes, I'm here with some relatives, but they're away for a moment and I'm lost. We're thinking of moving here someday, but I don't know my way around yet. Can't get home, okay, but I just gotta get Ruthie back. Please, could you help? Certainly, little one. I would be glad to aid you. How will I recognize him? You will? Oh, thank you so very much. I just know he'll be right now. All right now. Poor Ruffy isn't used to strange places and people. Be sure to know him when you see him. Because he's just the cutest little thing. Here, take this as well. His favorite chew toy it is. You'll know you're a friend if you have it in your hands. Thank you so much again. Okay, we're going dog hunting. Where haven't I been already? Sendai. Travelers from the north halt. You trespass quite deep into Alnian territory. Perhaps you have come to spy upon our supposed troop build-up. It's quite funny, the stupid notions you know that the barons get stuck in your heads. Are you saying that Arm does not threaten Baldur's Gate? Of course not. A mighty nation has better things to do than attack some self-important barbarian city. Anyhow, take her advice and go back from whence you came. Before you go, who are you that you would roam about the Cloud Peaks? It's a very dangerous place at this time of year. I am Sendai of the noble merchant house of Argrims, foremost family in Arm. Belgot, Alexander and I have come out here to hunt game. So perhaps you would make for better sport. I assume you have no problem with this. What kind of monster would hunt his fellow human like a wild animal? Of course I was not serious. What I said I did in jest. You with your barbarian mentality would of course misconstrue my meaning. Sure, lady, we'll be going now. Goodbye, peasants. Wish you luck on, luck on your journeys. You probably need it. <sighs> We're taking a bunch. Oh, peak mountains. There. Looks like a dread wolf, but okay, where did he uh, encounter that little boy? About here, I think. Hereabouts. Rufy, who's a fuzzy Rufy? Who's a fuzzy little guy? Thank you so ever, just ever so much. I better take this last little puppy home right away. Here, take this. It's another of his two things, but we can get more where we're, where we're going. Thanks again. Time to go home, Rufy. You'll like it. Ah, that was, that was, certainly looks like a demon. Level up. Ah, sweet. You can level up. I'm gonna increase because he's our tank, basically. Sword and shield style. 
Proficient one slot. The wheeler gets a one minus bonus to AC against missile weapons. Hit point thirty nine already. I don't know, how are our other characters? One hundred fifty nine XP. Ah, that's good. A black opal. Opal. Oh, we probably are able to sell it. Yes, I think we're gonna leave this uh, area. If I remember correctly, there's not much else to do here. enemies and must defend yourself Leo and well met well met traveler traveler <laughs> well that's the nicest thing anyone's called me in weeks we should kill that one last Senja such good manners welcome to try elf no no there's no reason for this to turn violent and over your belongings and you may yet live need to be more convincing than that brigand five against our party the odds don't seem to favor you you should listen to senjak friend perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at your hearts raise a hand against us and they'll cut you down if i die i will at least take you with me i'm not gonna ever pay on a bandit one dime now then, empty your pockets in. What's going on back there? This... This is impossible. Say, Jack, throw it to you. I swore I would crush the life out of you someday. Today is that day. Dorn, you should be dead or rotting in a lost in prison. How did you find us? I'm happy to see you, Dorn. Leaving you behind to take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one we want, not us. Just following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothy. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused your advances. What did the advances? She would never consort with a half orc, especially when she has me. Change, Dorothy. You're as stupid as you're ugly. Tell him, Dorothy. Sanjak was the first to agree with Simeon. He always hated you. You know, I didn't feel the same way. Tia, what you say? Ah, it's of course. But the half buried brute is too stupid for that to work. Men, rush them. You are both mewling cowards, turning on each other as easily as you turned on me. Half your men are already dead. You'll join them soon. It didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dawn. We'll do it again. Attack! Okay, this is the half orc from the friendly arm in. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you will attack the bow.
handled yourself well enough. You act surprised. As a rule, I do not rely on those who fight beside me. Perhaps you may prove an exception. Perhaps. What was that business with those two bandits? Who are you anyway? My name is Dorn Il Khan. When I was settling an old score, I've been hunting those two for almost a year now. That's two down and two to go. When you struck them down, what happened? I saw some ghostly apparition appear. My powers are none of your concern, unless you are looking for a strong arm to join you. They were quite impressive. I could use a man like you. Wait, are you? Yes, I'm he. Hmm. I've heard of your prowess. Traveling with you might help my vendetta, and my powers could certainly help you. Perhaps they would. Before I accept your aid and offer mine in return, who exactly are you looking for? My former companions betrayed me and left me to rot in a Luskan prison. I spent the last year tracking them down after Senjak and Dorotina. There are two left. I and why do you need my help? You seem to be doing well enough on your own. My appearance often frightens those who have information I need. Investigation is not my strong suit. From what I've heard, you have a knack for this. Yes, I can see your point. Welcome aboard, Dorn. Getting a bad feeling about this guy, Bart. Who would think that Gorion would have wanted you to take up arms with such an individual, Bart, and continually purge from the lessons he taught you in Dust and Uncut World? Very wise. We shall cut a bloody swath across the Sword Coast. Gorion would have none of you. You wish me to leave? Shameful. Uh, yeah, get mm. You shouldn't make a habit of committing mistakes like this. They add up. If you change your mind, I shall be at the friendly army. Okay. The reputation has increased. Okay. Yeah, ah, the Black Guard is basically you won't see see evil. Is better. They go eighteen. Okay. I'm not safe in this area. Okay. All right here. If you insist, there are initial lines. But I won't be visit them already. Oh, let's see. Anything I can find here?
There is an area here I need to reach. To my south of the mines. my masterpiece never should have stolen these emeralds but there was nothing else that would capture the majesty of that eyes I did what must be done for I have left my shop forgotten all my commissions and spent all that I had I must complete thee wait there's something someone here who are you was that relentless gray wolf who sent you wasn't it I have nothing to do with anyone named gray wolf nor would I want to Thank Denier, I thought I was done in. I'm not cut out for a life in the run. Mayhaps you could help a foolish sculptor finish this epiphany. Please guard this place for truly the Grey Wolf who comes seeking the bounty on the gems. I will pay with my last possessions if you would do this one service for me. Uh, if it's so important then I shall guard you as best I can, yes. I thank you for a kind of run from this place until my task is done. I've been using potions of speed to aid my work and have not slept for days. She's beautiful, is she not? It's a monument to my foolishness. I saw her but once on the outskirts of Everesca and said nothing. I let thee pass from my eyes and my heart have cursed me for it. I'm standing guard. None cross Grey Wolf and live! I've come for you, Prism. No, not yet. My work is nearly done. Please, I implore you. Sentiment is wasted to me, fool. You are but gold to my purse. You make your situation worse by hiring help to protect you? Who are you, fools? Prism w wishes only to finish his masterwork. Why not let him? What harm can it do? Should be more worried about the harm I can do. Never have I taken a bounty and not delivered. Now stand aside that I might dispense with this fool and claim our prize, or would you rather I go through through you to get him? And serve him well if he be worth your lives. No one messes with my business. Ah! My blade will cut you down to this. size. Are you cold? Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Do you seek enlightenment? After discovering our fellow Sun Soul monks had vanished from their monastery, we felt the truth must lie behind the name Alagoth. We spread out in pairs to investigate further. Gamaz and I, used to life on Calumport streets, searched for rumors on the streets of that capital. Much of our investigation took place at night, under the benign gaze of Selune. You see, although the sun shines more brightly, it is the moon that reveals the truths hidden in darkness. One night, we witnessed several shadowy figures assaulting a lone man on the street. We raced to his defense. The moon maiden blessed us, and we drove off his attackers. Despite our intervention, the man was gravely wounded. I remained with him, tending his wounds as best I could while calling for help. Gamaz, however, pursued the attackers. I shouted to him to come back, but he did not listen. Sometimes I wonder whether things would have been different if I had followed the laws instead of remaining with the wounded man.
Well, you did go out. It was Gamas's choice not to come back. When help finally arrived, I ran after Gamas. I found him only a few streets away. My brother had fought bravely, slaying three of his attackers before he was brought down. Once more, I cried out for help. Men came soon, but not to aid me. Instead, they arrested me for fighting in the streets, leaving Gamas to die in a pool of his own blood. When the guards released me the following day, Gamas had died. They said he had been slain by shadow thieves. The guards could not even give me his body, for they had burned at the doors of the other dead men. That's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss, Vassar. Thank you for your kindness. Disheartened by the tragedy, my fellow monks returned to Kalimpong. Gamaz and I had entered the monastery together as brothers. I could not return without her. Neither could I remain in Athkatla, a city that forever holds evil memories for me. I traveled north. At first I thought I might visit the Monastery of the Sun in Waterdeep, which they called the City of Splendors. Yet I was in no hurry to arrive. Every day since entering the Order of the Sun's Soul, I had striven to fill my heart with radiance that I may share it with others. But after Gamaz's death, I felt only the shadows of grief and despair. But perhaps I have dwelt too long on such memories. I wish to share my inner light with you, not my inner darkness. What else can I tell you? Tell me more about your training at the Sun Soul Monks. My training at the Sun Soul Monastery began the moment the kindly monk brought Gamaz and me inside its uh -huh. At first we were assigned chores and exercises. We looked with envy upon the older initiates who practiced combat techniques while we swept the stones and prepared meals for our seniors. The monks taught us to read and write, and why it is important to do both with careful thought. We practiced debate, studied history, and answered endless quizzes about the 9,000 mysteries of Saluni. We learned to meditate upon the moon, the shards, and the stars. We also learned to meditate on the darkness between them, for it falls to us to battle the servants of Saluni's dark sister, Shard. At last, we learned to combine our learning, devotion, and physical prowess to project our inner light outward. With it, we combat the darkness inside or surrounding others. You must have been very good at, them, at it for the masters to send you on a mission to arm. We all strove hard, but Gamaz was the best among us. None of the other monks could defeat him in combat. Only I could come close. Each time victory was within my grasp, he swept it away with some spectacular strength. Even among the elder students, Gamaz stood as a pillar of tradition and excellence. His death was a great loss. Not only to me as his brother, but also to the entire order of the Sun Soul. Sorry to bring set up such a sad subject. Thank you for sharing it. I thought it best that you should know my past, since we traveled with you. What else can I tell you? Uh, that's all for now. We'll talk later again. Okay, let's say... If you insist. Oh, beauteous creature, you are my masterpiece. Ah, Grey Wolf again. None cross Grey Wolf and live! Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Uh-huh. Okay, let's have a way with you. Oh, At your service. What is it this time? Oh, hello. Nature servant awaits. Yes. Of course. Grey Wolf. Oh, beauteous but creature. When we defeat you him, are my masterpiece. And we will. We have a special item. He will give us a special item or his body will. Run cross Grey Wolf and live! The 
back of my hand with a tip of my At your service. Yes, you oh you. omnipresent authority figure. Uh huh. Brilliant. Alas, my work is complete. Take what you will from my possessions, but leave the sparkle in our eyes. O oh, sweet creature, my effigy to thee is done. Perhaps our paths are crossed in distant realms, and I shall find courage to quell thy name. At least see me. Good on you if you save the day. And he's dead. Show you identify spell. It's it's a plus two. There you go, plus two damage, plus two, plus one. We will give it to I think. So He's a much better fighter now. Yeah, he already has a special weapon. Okay. Oh yeah, let's level up Jahira. He's a... Oh, both. Fighter and Druid has increased. So you do that. Ah. Uh, yes. Done. And she has more spells. Level 2. Um. Yeah. Slow potion. Slow poison. Because we'll come across more enemies who will use poison. And this is very good to have. Now are the other characters firing? Now they already increase in level. Ah, won't take you long. Yes, my party is becoming stronger and stronger. I'm level three. So I'll be returning to Nashville first to uh, sell some gear, and then we'll go into mines first. Safe. Save here. Okay, if you like this type of content, hit the like or and or subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.